Hey everybody, how you guys doing? My name is Crazy Jester, and welcome back to another episode of War on the Sea. So in the last episode, as you guys all remember, we did an incredible job of taking out that uh, battleship Tennessee. I think that's going to do a huge number for the United States Navy, especially in their war effort. Sent that right down to the bottom of the ocean. We have the I-15 that's going to head back to uh, the Shortland Islands, and I'm only sending them there because I'm going to have... This next group of uh, ships brings supplies down, and then once we have the 3,000 supplies that we need, we'll upgrade this to a Tier 3 port, and this I-15 will now be able to just resupply here. I also saw that they can actually, they can get 30 troops on board, which is like perfect for just dropping 30 troops off at like Vela La Vela and uh, this one, because then we get a, a lot more points at the end of the week, right? So... Right now, I think all we're going to work on is just trying to continue shifting all those forces from Rabul all the way down to the Florida Islands, get that invasion force up. Hopefully, we take the actual Florida Islands this episode. That'd be very nice. And uh, build up the forces and start working towards Guadalcanal. It's, again, I think it's going to take about 10,000 troops just to even put a dent in this. And uh, we're still keeping it blockaded. We are not going to let any ship in or out so we're going to completely blockade guadalcanal here and keep an eye out for the united states navy so without further ado let's get into this and let's hope we run into something huh all right looks like we might have our first encounter right now it is zero zero five nine hours and task force seven has been encountered which can only be one thing because there's no planes in the area it's a submarine it's a submarine holy hell yeah, it is. Jesus. And that was fast on how it acted. Holy hell. Everybody, you're on your own. Get out of here. Woo. All right. Let's go ahead and get sonar on, as we are pretty much heading right towards this thing. Let's lower speed down to 12 knots. Holy hell, that was fast. Oh my gosh, and there's another barrage right there. Look at that. I'm telling you, these uh, these torpedoes, I gotta tell you, they always feel like they're just heat-seeking torpedoes because they're always turning right towards us. All right, we managed to miss both barrages of torpedoes. That was a lot of torpedoes. We are on the hunt now, and it's got to be right around here. It's the only thing that makes sense. So where are you, Mr. United States Submarine? Oh, and we found him there. It is. All right, we managed to get over the top of this thing. Let's go ahead and get three salvos going at five seconds. And we are going to be dropping here momentarily. And as soon as we get to the front of this thing, I think it'll be perfect. And fire. All right. Death and destruction. Let's go. These are looking good, I got to say. Go for that propeller. Oh yeah, that was right on top of it. Perfect. And it's trying to turn. I think it might be dead in the water, actually. Oh my gosh. Let's go in reverse three. Beautiful. And there it goes. S-Class sinking. That was a good... Holy shit. I was not expecting that. All right, well, it completely disintegrated. That was a very good uh, shot on that part. 21 out of 36, so we still have plenty more. Let's go ahead and retreat. That is one less submarine to worry about. Good bloody work, everybody. All right, pushing on. Well, Task Force 4 here has the remaining supplies that we need that we have. So it's uh, 16 and 16, so that's going to be well over 3,000 supplies for the Short Islands. We'll finally get that port upgraded which will be nice that's a uh, one objective i wanted to do and uh looks like we have oh hello mark 55 are you the oiler i believe it is the oiler actually yes last 150 oil loaded up let's go ahead and we'll just take that down right over to the shortland islands as well as a good place just to store it and then we have our furataka and yabari almost back to base where they are going to retire Go get some uh, much needed repairs. We're pushing forward. And perfect, I think Task Force 4 here has finally arrived at the Shoreland Islands. Yes, they have. 
Yep, definitely. All right, manage troops. Let's go ahead and keep the 800 that we, oh my gosh, 2400. We don't really need that many supplies. 4100, three and three. Let's go ahead and upgrade that port tier. Three port, here we go. Which means now we can rearm all ships. All ships rearmed, beautiful. We need to get a little task force just to kind of patrol this area, keep an eye on it. And I want to get this uh, I-15 right down in this area now. Just kind of hover around Rennell Island. Maybe we can actually keep it down here too once it comes and try and get any kind of uh, ships that are coming in to resupply Rennell Island. That would be pretty good. Now, new course for these guys. We are going to go and restock Florida Islands. How are they doing in general? 4,200 still. <gasps> do we have full control? It says we do, but it's still smoking. We're going to find out. Hell yes. Our plan is coming together beautifully, let me tell you. Not surprising we have yet another counter with Task Force 7. No planes around and it's 3.40 in the morning, which can only be a bloody submarine. Increased speed, sonar, and there it is. Come on, everybody turn in, for God's sakes. I don't know where these are going. Looks like they were going for the Nachi. Thank goodness it didn't get it. Oh, and we have found it. There it is. Get those spotlights going. Let's go ahead and increase speed so we can actually catch up to it. 11 knots. Depth charges are ready and we'll do, we'll get it ready for three Savos so we don't have to mess around with that anymore. Oh yes. The Gato. I know it well. Which is exactly why I know it's that damned good. We need to take it out. I'm telling you, you can't hardly see the submarines in this new one. With how murky these waters are, it is incredible. How crazy and murky it can get. But it looks like we're just about ready to drop these things. Just a little bit more time. You can barely see this thing. Look at that. Let's go ahead and start dropping. Let's take out those propellers. Absolutely dead dark. It's a cool looking submarine though, isn't it? Woo! Makes me want to make it play U-boats now. Okay, come on. There we go. Perfect. And propellers have stopped. That's good. Got some more depth charges going down here. Hopefully, it's at an angle. But boy, we just can't seem to get it. This was seven seconds. It's way down there. Come on. He should be good right here. There we go, that was able to do it. All right, Gato sinking. Let's see our depth charges. We are completely out, holy hell. That's okay though, it was worth it. Send as many depth charges as we need down there to get those guys out. We need to get this guy back up here to rearm the Shortland Islands. Please do, onward. All right, Task Force 10 has arrived back at the Florida Islands. Let's go ahead and manage cargo and we can officially offload. Sweet. 5,900 troops, 1,700, so I mean 59, we might as well call it 600. 8,700 troops ready to rock almost. We are bloody close. Next episode definitely is when we'll be doing the invasion of Guadalcanal. I cannot wait. And it looks like, uh, who's this back here? Hello. Welcome. All right, what can we get? We need a lot of supplies is what we really need. We need the remaining troops, definitely, but we need a lot of supplies. So let's go ahead and get this one. You guys, you can bring the remainder. Well, let's get the supplies ready. 900, bring them all down. Oh yes, and then you, you can bring the remaining 560 troops. Get you back down to the Florida Islands as well. Come on, let's do it. I'm excited for this. All right, we have our encounter with our planes again. Task Force 8, of course, are the ones that are being targeted. What exactly we're dealing with, though, I do not know. Let's go ahead and get our planes ready here. Dive bombers, I'm sure. Yeah, these, uh, these fighter planes are just absolutely awesome. I love them. All right, one dive bomber. 
Take him out, guys. Head on collision. There should be no reason for him to live right now. Perfect. And now break off and take off everything else. Whatever it is you need to do. Oh, we have a real dogfight on our hands here. Come on. They're all running away. Are you actually going for this guy? I hope so. Because you are on a direct path of messing him up. Really cool view over here too, isn't it? I think it is. Pretty bitchin' looking. Gosh, there are a lot of fighters. Holy hell. We need to knock these guys out, definitely. Yes, keep going. Keep going. Yes. Good work. Number two. He's on your six, watch out. Oh my goodness. Watch out for sneaky number seven over here. I'll give uh, the order over here for this guy. For that. We'll get two on number seven. You gotta really micromanage your planes, I've noticed though. A hundred percent. Because they all clump for one. And that's just the how the game's written. And in the code and everything. I get that. But for anyone playing, just remember. This is like a whole little game in and of itself. Because you don't want 13 fighters going after one. And then you're getting shot down by everything else. You certainly have to keep managing them. Number six might be in trouble here. Strafe the shit out of him. There we go. There we go. Getting up the shot. Lining up. Keep turning with him. Keep turning and fire. Oh, yes. That is a good kill. Good bloody work. Is that everybody? I think that's everybody. Victory in the skies for the Imperial Japanese Air Force. Great bloody work. Love it. Go ahead and retreat, confirm, that is it. Nine aircraft shot down and we didn't lose one. We'll keep them in the area and see if anybody else wants to try and mess with us, but I don't imagine they would. Um, 9,000 supplies, 55, 5,900 troops. We're gonna have enough supplies here, 3,000 supplies. We're definitely gonna have enough supplies once that invasion comes. I can't think of, we're just gonna have to keep pulling it. We still have 5,000 supplies to go. It's interesting though, after the week we haven't gotten anybody. Maybe after this next week, we're on day 12, so. Only, what, two more days and we'll have two weeks by. That'll be our, oh, command points. We got another resupply, 82 command points, which means we can, uh, hello. That must have been for earlier ships that we released for repair. That's good. We'll keep an eye on that. I-15's doing this. Let's continue. Oh, my goodness. Hello. This is good. I-16 has encountered 10 ships. Maybe one CA, maybe one CL. Oh my gosh. Begin. I want them all dead. What are we dealing with here? I can't see them right now, but I'm sure they're gonna be popping up here. And here they are. Holy hell. Destroyers galore. And then I imagine all convoys. Yes, they are. Look at that. Oh, and a heavy cruiser. Ooh, I think we need to go for these cargo ships, though. Honestly. I really feel we need to go for those. We don't care about destroyers. Heavy cruiser would be nice, but it's not that big of a deal. We need these. Holy hell. And we need to get in position to do it. All right, went ahead and identified everything. So we got an Atlanta class cruiser, a Wichita class. I wouldn't mind getting rid of those. If we could actually get rid of the heavy cruisers, then we could go in with our uh, our ships and meet these guys. And then we're only dealing with destroyers and cargoes. So that might be a plan. It's just who do I... I think I'd rather take out this Wichita class. This is a much bigger threat than just a scrawny little Atlanta class. That only can shoot HE, but the Wichita actually has AP, which would do a lot of damage to us. All right, we have kind of lined up here. We're right at the middle. I think I could set two, two, and two at all these right as soon as we're dead center, and they should, in theory, hopefully, hit right at the same time. We are gonna try this. So, we will launch the first two at the Atlanta. We have a 55% chance of detonation, or hitting it, excuse me. So, let's go ahead and get this going. And firing at the middle cargo. Are these going to hit? I have no idea. But we better give it a whirl at least. Here we go. Knock out these guys so they have to retreat to base and then go after them with the 
Mogami and everything. That would be great, but as soon as the first torpedoes hit this Atlanta, if they hit, they're going to all increase their speed, which is why it might not work for the Wichita. It might, though. Who knows? We'll find out. It looks like they're all kind of in line with each other, so we might get pretty lucky here. Wichita hit. There we go. Or Atlanta. Excuse me, that was the Atlanta. Looks like the Wichita. Ooh, it took one. There we go. That's good. But everyone else is going to speed up, I don't think. No, we're definitely not going to hit the middle cargo. That's okay, though. Let's see what kind of damage we did, though, shall we? That looks devastating. Report. Heavy and heavy for the Atlanta. Moderate and minor for the Wichita. That's okay. How is our torpedoes looking here? We have 14 left, two in the tubes, and ready to rock. Nice. The Atlanta might have to retreat after this. While we're away, let's go ahead and we'll retreat on out here because I don't think anything significant is going to happen. Heavy and heavy, heavy and moderate, or moderate and minor, excuse me. Hell yes. Good job, I-15. Let's go ahead and get these guys right around here, keeping an eye out. It's one in the morning still. We want the Akatsuki to help as well. Let's get the I-16 also swarming around this area. All right, we might have gotten lucky. It's been about four hours, and I haven't run into that ship column yet. We might have knocked out the Wichita and the Atlanta enough that they all had to turn around and go back, so... Hey, that's okay with me. As long as they turn back, that means no supplies again are getting to the Florida Islands, certainly not to Guadalcanal. They didn't slip by, because we would have caught them with the Megami and the Akatsuki and everything. But they didn't, so that's, uh, that's great. Hey, I'll take it. We are still holding down Guadalcanal, having our troops come down with Task Force 4. This is going to be a really big help with all these supplies and extra troops. And uh, we're just waiting for... Hello, these guys are back here, so they can we can actually just manage cargo right now while we're waiting. Go ahead and pick up the remaining supplies and troops. There we go. And uh, God, let's just head on back down on a course there as well. Hell! We didn't get any big ship battles. I was kind of hoping for one this uh, episode, but you know what? We did take out two submarines and then we just knocked out, I, I feel like we knocked out the Atlanta and uh, Wichita class. They're gonna have to go back for repairs, I think, because that was a pretty devastating blow by the I-16. Great work on its part. So we're, I mean, we're pushing, we're pushing. I think next episode, it is safe to say that I will have a big enough invasion force at the Florida Islands and Mal Malaysia, excuse me, Malaita, that we're gonna push into Guadalcanal. We are officially gonna start the invasion of Guadalcanal, and I think 10,000 troops is going to be more than enough to at least tip the scale over halfway, and then we'll just keep ferrying down troops. So I'm pretty excited about that, and I hope you guys are too. But that's going to do it for me, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys have really enjoyed the episode. And if you have, please comment down below. Let me know you did like the episode. Let me know what you liked about it. Uh, please consider giving the video a thumbs up. It really helps me out. It helps the channel out. And for anyone that's new to the channel and you guys like this series, if you want to see more like this coming out really soon, please consider subscribing. I'm going to get back at it and start faring over these troops. And uh, come next episode, we are invading Guadalcanal. Until then, though, I hope you guys have an incredible day. Take it easy, okay?